Welcome back to 150 bucks. I'm pissed the fuck off because I just did a whole hour vlog and the whole thing deleted. It was the most deepest podcast I had, but it is what it was. I ain't gonna share all that energy with y'all. I'm gonna just get into another video because that's how life go. You cannot get angry about things you cannot control. I was on the phone with my brother and I was speaking on a lot of different things and we was breaking down and we was having our own personal perspective, which was a beautiful experience. I'm still currently on the phone with him right now. Um, like I was making my point in my last video, I wanted to point out something that dawned on me as I was walking around this morning and I was walking around with my dog in my neighborhood. I live in Allentown, Buffalo, New York, in White Peopleville, you know, and not to be racist, I'm just a little frustrated. As I said before, we are all one race. We just don't got the same pigment. Um, and as I was walking up the street, I noticed and it dawned on me. The lack, the the low amount of white children. There is a small percentage of white children in my neighborhood, but there's a large percentage of elderly white people. And I just wanted to... Um, Yo, you know what's crazy? I barely saw white kids in your neighborhood, but that is a white neighborhood. <laughs> you don't see them walking up the street as a group. You don't see kids playing in the backyard, you don't hear the kids, you don't hear none, none of that, it's just... Right, in the house. In the, right, in the house or in the basement. It's like they scary of us. It's like, man, and that's something that I noticed. Another thing I wanted to Yo, break... Yo, that's crazy, I really know, never really think. I don't even be seeing white kids play outside how black kids be. Where is they at? Hmm. I barely seen a white kid. Hmm, hmm. Yo, that is... Cr- no, I gotta make that as a stat. Hmm. I barely see white people anymore. <laughs> see, look, y'all clicking. And then there was another thing I was breaking down with the king. We um started talking about energy. So yes, sir. We were saying, what is energy? Um, I, It's for... It's for energy. It's for types of energy. Um, I'll say physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Physical, the quantity of our energy. Mm. Emotional, the quality of our energy. Ooh. Mental, the focus of our energy. Come Spiritually, on. the force of our energy. Mm, come on. Ain't that guy right there, Todd? That's that guy, Todd. <laughs> and then to add on to what he just said, for anybody who knows that words, every word has a deeper meaning than what, than what it presents to you. Um, it and they have multiple meanings. I mean, meanings when you really look into certain words. And I was, I was telling him we was breaking down the word. And if you break down the word energy into inner, um, e v e r, no inner. I mean e n e r. I n n e r. No. Or e n. E n e r and then g y. You spread, you spread it out like it's a. Uh, like you trying to pronounce words, like you doing, what is it called? Not assemblies, but I think that's what it's called. And you trying to break down a word into two to in order to spell it. So you got inner and you got G. Change inner into I-N-N-E-R and then turn a G into a simple G, a whole G. You got your inner G. What is the G? The inner God in all of us. All of us have an inner God inside of us. And as I think about, and I play this whole vlog back, and it still bugs me in the back of my head. I feel like because of the energy and the vibrations and the frequency that the inner God in us, it didn't allow me to stop the video before my computer died. And things like that, that everything happens for a reason. Don't get angry about things you can't control. I couldn't control it, so I had to get myself control and I had to just tell myself it is what it was, you know? Um, but we did a hour long just getting deep into knowledge and different things and different perspectives. I guess I'm going to just shift this up because I'm real authentic and I can't repeat things like I'm a robot or some shit. Like, I don't record it myself. Um, later on down the podcast, let me send my black ass back down. Later on during the podcast, I'm going to get... I mean, not the podcast. I am doing a podcast today for anybody who watching today. Thank y'all. And I want to say once again, shout out to all my viewers and everybody who watching and paying attention and all the love for self-knowledge. And you know y'all doing this because y'all soul is attracted to this. As he was saying, that it's an attraction. It's a, um, 
it's a attraction to what your soul want to hear and what your soul need to know and to just keep allowing yourself to be guided by your higher power. Um, later on, I'm gonna do my free, my notorious freestyles. Y'all know how I like to do it. In my last vlog, I wasn't even doing that because we were so deep in the mind. But <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to tap in with y'all, I want like I like to say, everybody, make sure y'all seize in the moment. Life every day is about being in the moment. Seize the moment. Don't be in the past. Don't be in the future. But be in the moment because that's the most closest form of sanity. Because. Um, you're not stressing about what's to come and you're not worrying about what already happened. Um, anybody who watched me already know I'm not a religious person, but I study yes, religion. I'm not a religious person. I'm just playing. But I said, <laughs> you should have told me. I paused like, what? <laughs> but I study religion. And you know, um, that just help you. It helps me just, just know go. Thyself. Yeah, it just know helps me thyself. better know thyself, as he's saying. And um, as I said yesterday, this is how I know that God is working in mysterious ways and how he's, like, really powerful. So yesterday, me and Ma, we went out about we was minding our business, and um, we was going to wash clothes because we didn't feel like doing that here. We wanted to, you know, get out of that atmosphere, do it somewhere else. So we had went to a laundromat, and as we get off the bus and we cross the street, it was this elder lady that I met a while back that um, I remember having an altercation. I don't remember about what, but it was a slight altercation enough for me to remember her face because I got good photographic memory. So when I saw her, I had my ski mask on. I had a Joker ski mask on, and... She ended up asking me, she stopped, she was following us. Like, imagine you just walking, and then the second you walk in, somebody walk up on you and say, hey, y'all, do either one of y'all got a cigarette? Because he really needs a cigarette. So I'm like, no, he don't need no. I'm like, no, he don't need no cigarette. And then she kept walking behind us. And then the first thing she asked me is, um, she like, your mask is really cool. Is that like a part of some type of demonic ritual you be doing? Well, no, she never actually told me my mask was cool, but she was interested in my mask. And then I was like, I was being funny because me, I like to give a feel. I like to see what's really going on and how, what type of people, and especially when it comes to white people, not to be racist, but because we are all one race, but what type of mind state she had. I said, yeah, I dibble and dabble a little bit. <laughs> I said, I dibble and dabble a little bit. I said, I, I kept walking and I thought, I'm like, how about you? Do you ever? She like, no, nah, I don't, I don't um get into things like that. At first, she was saying like, yeah, she made it seem like that's a normal thing for around my age or whatever. And then she was like, no, I don't dibble and dabble and things like that. She said, once you turn your whole life over to God and Jesus. You completely cleanse your soul of the demon within. Everybody has a demon, but once you give yourself to God, um, he gets rid of and take away all of our demons. Now, I remind y'all how that conversation just started all the way to us just hopping into that. That sparked my interest. So, this is how I know that this was, um, she was a vessel of God. This lady followed us. We, of course, we not following her. We don't know her for to just continuous, a continuous on conversation. She followed us, and she happened to be going into the um, laundry mat to wash clothes. We talked for about 30, 30 minutes to an hour just about strictly God. And she was basically breaking down her storyline. She was saying how she um, um, had... That's why she got put in jail, because her husband was a Freemason. She said that... She was blessed with a Mercedes. She owned her own house. She had her own kids. And she said that everything was taken away from her. She said it was the full cycle. But she was smiling. She was la She was happy about life to be alive. She was happy to be every... The whole entire conversation, she kept the purest smile on her face. And, and I'm just... Everything that she kept saying to us was reassuring that everything that I've been teaching myself and more. She was saying this, and this is a woman, she was saying that she was, um, like, she was thinking like me. It was like I was just looking at my older future reflection, but a female version, and she was white. <laughs> she was like, it was like, she was 77, but she played around and said she was 80. She said, well, you can round that up. <laughs> 
But she was telling me how she went through the full cycle, how she ended her marriage because her marriage was based on lies, basically, because her husband was a Freemason and she didn't know until she found badges that he had. She said that she was blessed with beautiful twins. And then she said basically everything that she has by the time she hit her current age, was all taken away from her in full circle. So then as we got further and deeper into the conversation, we were saying like, yeah, when you don't appreciate the things you have, she was saying God will take everything away from you. Like God will take it all away from you. If you don't. And then I was telling her, she asked me, she was like, um, what religion am I? Because she, she strongly dislikes religion. Like how you do? Um, she strongly is against religion. But she studied it to learn it, to learn that she don't like it. She studied it and learned she don't like it. <laughs> and but at the end of the day, she still was trying to sell me a belief to go look up somebody else. If I'm not going to church or if I'm going to Christian, she gave me somebody else to look into. So since I'm not going to the nation of Islam, she asked me, "Are you Muslim?" And I told her, I said, at first I said yes, just quickly speaking, because I'm always around Muslims. But I told her, I said, no, 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 I'm a true Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a true Muslim. And what makes me a true Muslim is because I do the work of God. I'm not a Muslim because of a title. I'm not a Muslim because of a title. I'm a Muslim because of a work of God. That's how I chose to take the word. It wasn't because of shit anybody had told me. No adult told me. No per Nobody brainwashed me and told me you got to believe this shit. This is what I chose to take as my own personal placebo. I'm gonna break down placebos in a second. We was breaking down words in a um in a meanings and how it's beautiful how God um is encrypted and everything and always sending us messages and always sending us messages through anybody, the wicked and the righteous camp. He isn't he has eyes in both camps. As long as we all got two eyes, he can see the world. As long as he can use you, because you a vessel, he can see this whole world and how it's operating. Don't nothing get past him behind his back. But that was a beautiful experience. And then right after me and Ma, we stopped by Price Right. And I was just like highly super aware tapped in. And I was just like in my inner child with it though. And I'm like, bro, everything here is genetically made. Everything is sun. So we come in with the ski mask because I put the drunker mask back on. Then my wife, she put her mask on. And then the security guard just watching this. I'm fucking dying laughing because ain't shit I wanted to steal. I, <laughs> I don't even steal. It's not nothing that I wanted to steal. He watching me because we had book bags on and stuff. And we were just laughing and just talking about the fruit. So I took it upon myself. I'm like, come on, let's go. We about to go walk up to him. We walked up to him. I said, how does it feel to be a part of the biggest like experiment in the world? He like, huh? He acting dumbfounded, like he don't know anything. He don't even know God. That's how he was acting. And I'm like, to be able to sit here and just watch the rat experiment, people running up and down the aisles, buying fake food and buying things that's not nutritious and how the government gives us food stamps just to go spend money on fake food. They give you money to spend money on fake food and you cannot spend your money on real food. If you don't believe me, go try to spend your money on real food. And I, what I mean by real food is cooked foods places. I go someplace that's real healthy. It's like a it's like a um, cultural thing, and it's guys and a, like it, it's a beautiful thing. It's like what I'm thinking Indians. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking about that. <laughs> that's how I'm thinking. And they got nothing but nutritious things in there. I can't buy shit they got in there with my food stamps. But I can go to a market where they got fruits and vegetables that sit inside of a machine that contaminates it. And it's and it could sit inside of a factory in a cold deep freezer for a year, for four months to a year. And, still, and then put inside of a food market and still look like it's fresh and new like it just got picked last week. See, I got to tap in. You know, I already talked about this a um, couple of videos back, but I got to tap in with this. And then, uh, for me, I keep bringing up placebo. What is a placebo? Placebo is nothing more than a convincing belief. And as I was writing my book earlier, I was just breaking down words, how I broke down energy, inner God. And I asked Siri, I said, hey, Siri, what does bow mean? Because placebo is spelled place bow. So I asked, 
And the second thing that popped up that I had noticed that I read, it said best offer. So it's a place. You place your best offer. You place your best offer, your best belief, your be- your best knowing that you know, and you share this convincing belief, which is a placebo. Let me give a deeper example. A placebo is nothing more than convincing belief. If I hand you this pill and I say this pill is going to cure your arthritis and you take it and the pill is just a sugar pill, but your arthritis disappears, I'm into buying those placebos. What is it about your mind that was so powerful that even though I gave you this fake pill, that because I sold you this belief, something in you was so powerful that it dis- your arthritis disappeared? It's not about the it's not about the the sugar pill. It's not about the belief. It's about the power within. What power within do you have that when I sold you this convincing belief, it activated something in your genetics and your DNA? Say it's a healing factor. Say if you got hurt, well, all right, it's say it's a healing factor, and then it heals your body because. In your mind, you believe that this was healing, so your body operated off the fact of it's in the process of getting healed. And now, it's gone. This is why everybody must explore the mind before exploring the world. This is why you must conquer yourself before trying to conquer the world. This is why you must understand yourself before trying to have the whole world understand you. First, seek to understand, then to be understood. First, seek to understand yourself. And then to be understood by the world. First seek to understand other people's perspective. Then to be understood. First seek to... Come on. As the king say, you can't lead the horse to water. I mean, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But it's another thing Les Brown said. You can lead the horse to water. But if you find a way to quench their thirst with some form of knowledge or a placebo, you can make them thirsty. And they'll start drinking the water. But it all depends on, truthfully, honestly, in our godly way, your persuasiveness. Are you persuasive enough? Do you Are you tapped in with that side of you? Are you tapped in with the side that can... Um that is confident in what you say. You um you believe in yourself. You got inner security. You know that what you're saying is what you're giving away. You're not just giving away any form of information. You're giving away information that actually um has showed results in your life. Things that has actually changed you in your life. And this is what's so beautiful. Like even though that everything just happened, everything washed away. God said, if I want to use you and pull this out, you're going to say what I want you to say. It don't matter, like, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter what I believe in or if I think that this. I'm just a vessel. I'm going to always tell y'all this. I am just a vessel. I am just a, a, a meat car with a piece of God's spirit in me operating me and my subconsciousness. Whatever y'all want to call it. Subconsciousness, soul, spirit, whatever you want to call it. God, Jehovah, Witness, whatever you want to call it. It's in you. It's what when somebody open your brain and they try to depict your brain and break it down and dissect it. And then they cannot, they can always, they they find what commands the body, but they cannot find the commander. They cannot find your spirit. They cannot find what's in you, that piece of light that God shared with you to give you light, to give you a, this experience on earth, which makes you a spirit, a spiritual being experiencing a human experience your spirit your spirit being your spirit being a human you feel me (laughs) your spirit being a human another thing that I like to really say be attached to nothing Have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. Attachment really means that I am deluding. I am looting myself. I am taking from myself. I am um, attracting from myself. Attachment really means that I am deluding myself into a belief that I cannot have or that I cannot do this. I mean, that I cannot do this or that thing without, I mean, or somehow I'm going to be immobilized without you, without this belief, without this money, without this car, without this being so, without being so attached, I am 
deluding myself. I am looting my, I'm taking from myself. I am deluding myself into a belief that if I cannot have, or if I cannot do this thing, then somehow I am going to be immobilized. I cannot move. I cannot do, I'm not going to find the drive. I'm not going to find the motivation because I am attached to this person and they do not act the way. They do not think the way that I think that they should be. They are not who I think they are. So now I am immobilized. When you get in a relationship and you're worth another person, that person is their own entity, their own person, their own way of thinking. And when you get in a relationship and you become attached instead of open minded and detached from the person, you when you're detached, you're more open to um, be grateful for the person as they are to be grateful for the person versus when you're attached. You think um, you believe that if a person doesn't act a certain way or if a person doesn't do this thing, then we cannot work out. Because you're so attached to the person that they are right now that if they changed and they became somebody new the next following day, you're attached to who they are. You're not open and you're not detached to their change because you're attached to what they used to be. You can't be open minded or you can't be detached and you can't be there to what they're about to become. You like, oh, this motherfucking weird. You don't listen to shit I say. Everything you say, don't nobody motherfucking listen to me. The same story. Everybody got the same story. Here's a great test for a relationship and anybody. Especially when you're in a relationship with those that you love and not your children, but your spouse and your lovers. Try this on for size. I'm not really attached to you at all. I am merely deluding, looting. I am merely deluding myself into a belief that without you, I will not be happy. And here's another one. Here's the toughest test for non-attachment. I leave you to be free to be yourself, to think your thoughts and, and indulge in your taste, follow your inclinations, behave in the ways that you decide are to your liking. Because it's your life, it's not my life. Because you're your main character. You're not my, I mean, I'm not your main character. Because you have your own connection with God. You don't have my connect. You have your own ways of thinking. You have your own taste. You have your own inclinations. You have your own behaviors. You're not going to be who I want you to be. I said that because I love you. Because if I love you unconditionally, I take you as you are. And I'm not trying to be here to change you. No, I'm not trying to be here to fix you. I'm here to help you change if you want the help. Because you can't help people who don't want help. You can't make the horse drink the water if the horse don't want to want fucking drink. I like how you keep saying that. <laughs> Word though. Hold on. I think the brother outside, he told me he bringing me three suits. You want me to call you back? You were saying before. All right. Nah, he calling me right now. So he probably outside. I'm going to just All run right. down there. I'm going to just run down there. All right. Yo, talk to the people though. They can hear you. So bring, uh, give them some head knowledge real quick. <laughs> we can wait for you to come back, King. All right, all right.
I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Put my screen up. Oh, it's in my screen up. Where my stilo at? I stand my stilo. My bad, y'all. The screen went dark on y'all. <laughs> I tell bored. Don't be on my soups, man. I don't even know what I was last talking to y'all about, man. Oh, I was breaking down. Great test of relationships. And I hope y'all hear me. If y'all don't, y'all can always replay it. It's YouTube, ain't it? <laughs> Yo, you stay there? He out. Crazy day, man. Some things are too personal to be released. And I understand that. So maybe the last vlog is supposed to get deleted. <laughs> you know what I was going to title it? The title. <laughs> All right, let me move forward. Let's do them. Let's hop into my notorious. You know, I would like to do it. Let's see how I'm feeling right now. Baby girl, I'm so outspoken. Baby girl, you know I'm chosen. In my life, I know I'm golden. I already know I'm rosin. This is the secret of law of attraction. I'm bringing the love and I'm bringing the hoes. I ain't even say all the hoes. I say all the drugs. She told me let's go. She told me let's go. She told me she know this. Fucking these bitches ain't need to be loaded. A little bro wanna come too loaded. Like for sure, one top about what I got a one, two, three, and that four trying to come me up. Hey. I roll with Bo David. I roll with Bo David. Y'all ain't gonna lie, I'm getting tired of beats. I'm about to just really just start. Producers, what if I told you there was a plug-in? Well, we ain't gonna pretend like we don't love beats. Samples or instruments to use. And you'd always have... Uh, hey, who trying to get active? 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 Me, you said what you saying, I said what I said, but backwards. Dog wanna pull back up right now. Hit the toe, watch out for them boys that's back up. Me and the dogs, they trying to come in right now. We all GOD, we backed up. Um, one, two, three, and the four, five, man, I come like Batman. Come in swinging in the Gotham. Man, I heard the city, and I heard it's deadly, but I ain't gonna whoop they ass, I'm just be preaching. And God, he told watch out right now, and watch the words you saying. Every word you saying, everything that's coming around, cause the people going, uh, uh. People, they really gonna see me. Uh, people, they really gonna get me right now. Cause a nigga, man, he really the G man. Come back in, am I coming with three men? Hold on, three men. I'm trying to come in with G O D. That G me. One God, giant operator. This show, I'm gonna. Uh, I got one God and the operator and the door show you on my team. Me and the people, we all trying to come in together, trying to see everything it'll be. I got a God of my wife and the whole Holy Spirit. That's just all I need on the team. Me and the family, we all come together, trying to, try to figure out what was the. Uh, uh, mm. Build up the kingdom right now. Kingdom is already came piped down. Everything came back in the lowest. Shay told me that we over. Hold on, people, they already see I'm going. Man, I'm Lydia's, huh? Man, I'm Lydia's what? This is the test? Hold on. I got a great test for your relationship. Be a test of nothing. Test no will, but open mind. Keep your mind open on Friday. She trying to tell me link on Friday. She trying to tell me that just my day. I like Shay trying to link on Friday. She trying to tell me that's on my space. She trying to go to a party. Uh, me and little baby, we just trying to get so lit and shit. This is out of Okay, I'll just freestyle. But I still talk that stuff as it be real. And they gon' feel everything I say. And I'm gon' spill my cup on falling floor. But they gon' sip in it. I'm like, damn. I wanted to say something so different. Hey. I don't got no new op, but the beat really called new op. Uh, uh, I ain't got no new op. New opposition is really myself as a look at itself in the mirror. I woke up a brand new man, but I still got brand new problems to come in the mirror. I already know people don't come right now. They ain't trying to make no money. Them people ain't talking about love right now. Man, them people, they all act funny. I don't get no damn what they at right now. If you really your dog, we are back right now. If you really my dog, link up right now. I still got pieces. I'm up and down. Up and down is going around. I'm crushing it now. So she told me just like I'm a crush. She said I'm a crush. Baby, she said she's living right now. So they already done told you like that. 
wanna live, man. I'm trying to come right now. I'm trying to uplift you. I'm trying to blow up your life. I'm trying to, hold on. I'm trying to inflate the brain, but I'm trying to give you know, yeah, I'm trying to give you that knowledge, give you that food, power, that brain food, that shit that we need now. I'm trying to bring it now, that base to your man. I'm trying to get me high. And, <laughs> new shady, new baby, but that my new lady, my new Mercedes. Yo, bro, I wanna talk about what? Wanna talk about what? Wanna talk about 80s? You already told me he was running them young niggas who was born in the 80s. How? You born in 2000? He said, Why is my mind is open? Oh, wicked, really a spin. It's like I'd have been here way before them. I ain't got time for niggas out here. We talking about gosh, I said, I'm funny. Me and my dog, we trying to come coming together, and we trying to come to form me. I ain't got time for niggas be acting like hoes and boys. They ain't really on it. I ain't gonna lie. I got money right now, and that shit been really grown. I ain't gonna lie. I'm living my life right now. My life been overloaded. And I ain't gonna lie. The life that I live right now, my feeling the overchosen. Kick back, get back. Nigga, I have a heart attack. Shut this shit on shock attack. She wanna bring that money back. I like bring that on, uh, bring that love, that three, four, five, that cat. Boy, I'm talking about what? Wanna bring that home, wanna bring that like back. I don't even really be knowing that boy. That boy, he be talking too much when the money keep coming. It's up and it's up in the world. The show on the top about her. The show on the stage, you different. I already knew I was different. Young dog, like a big old film. Hey, man, I'm finna really get myself like this, man. How many get them? The good. The good. You know what I'm saying? Damn, when you really want to say what you want to say, but you can't say it all freestyling, man. That shit be pushing you off, man. You got to find the words that got to find the word that got to find the word. But it's a beautiful thing. It take you a long time to get here, man. Anybody who already know me, man, they already know. I be telling the boys when you walk in the building, man, rolling my split, man. I'm trying to get lit real quick, man. I'm trying to have our people come in, man. We all live in for the whole life, man. man, man, man. Roll my split real quick. Me and my bro, after that, we dip. We ain't got time to try to talk too much now. We ain't going to sit here and talk and sit. Man, we could talk and walk. All people out here, we walk and chalk. I ain't talking about killers. We walking and chalking and spilling the love. It's a be out. Y'all trying to see where I'm at right now. I'm on the east side trying to lean to the west. Me and my west trying to lean with the north to the south trying to bring everybody on set. Bring them together the unity, all the energy. I'm trying to bring it together. I learned the shadow. I told you the energy is like for we all can connect. I ain't got to worry about people right now. Them boys be home, they all right now. I'm looking at them when the boys be calm. Connected to four, and I'm gonna be now. Look, that trying to see where I'm at right now. Little bro trying to see on the mat right now. Let's show she trying to throw back right now with a big old money. Let's clap right now. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Boy, you cry. I'm hot. Ice, ice, spice. Shit, like, boy, I'm getting my lights. The light that I live, this shit ain't right. How this shit ain't right? Cause everybody ain't trying to fix their life. But me, I'm still trying to do shit right. Trying to come in this real, trying to switch on. Not trying to get everybody to get on that road. Trying to get on that bike. Trying to get shit right. Get it electric. Get your energy. You trying to get back over there. Make sure that you exercising for the mind. Every day, you got to clear the mind. Got to clear up the blood. Got to get the blood streaming. Got to get everything. Get the running feet in the mind right now. This shit ain't working. Cause you ain't even educating your circle. Hold on. First, you got to educate yourself. But it ain't working. Your body ain't working. Still, you trying to be healthy inside of the mind. But the food that you eat ain't working. I I ain't worried about people right now because I already know that shit ain't perfect. I never worry about people at all because I know that's something that I never worry. I never worry, and I ain't worried. And I'm balling like I'm Stephen Curry without all the madness inside of the ball because I keep balling. We go hard. This shit all been to me. We already know how we live and everybody said it. Man, I feel like he AI. Uh, man, want to come like an AI. Nigga, he's seeing the system. I'm seeing your M now. I already see right now. Yeah, got everybody in your system. You just sitting there. You just get a code in your neck. You trying to go steal them feeling. Man, I already know about the FBI and phones. They sitting here around with your neck. Man, they gon' say you know niggas the whole damn time, but they one of the boys who'll kill you. And in new days, man, I can't imagine in new days how they get it, how they do this. And they send it on for me, acting like he intellectual. Acting like he trying to help you and switch up the world, trying to do all this shit for the better. Acting like he trying to help you and do it behind the scenes, he never gonna step. Never be stepping on shit under pressure. That's how you know he the foe forever. This shit trying to tell me it's going forever. I'm, my life trying to go on forever. I'm immortal. I'm really been going forever. And even after I'm dying, I'm going forever. I can't worry about people that just that my kids in this world and I know this pressure. I know this pressure they ain't gonna go through, but they gonna step going up like Goku charging the right now on all Roku. You can't see them on channels you go to. I like <laughs> Hey <laughs> I'm him. <laughs> yeah.